Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Pirate Hope Show, where I talk about what I want to talk about for however long I want to talk about it. How you doing? My name is T. And this video goes out to all the gentlemen out there. Actually, not gentlemen, men. Males. Now, of course, women, they're welcome to watch this, right? And I, on some level, I kind of hope that they do. But this is particularly for the men. Men, you have been wronged. Society at large owes you a gigantic apology. And you have been robbed. Let me start off first. Um, I'm not sure how long this conversation is going to take. It's going to take as long as it takes. If you don't like that, I kind of apologize. But, I mean, people people can watch TV for like three hours at a time and, and not even think about it. So why would a podcast style like this be any different? Uh, me personally, I listen to the Joe Rogan podcast. That's like three hours. I listen to Stefan Molyneux. That ranges from like 40 minutes to three hours. Uh if you feel this video is worthy of your attention and you literally don't have the time, then break it up. Watch like 20 minutes at a time. But this is going to be off the cuff. Uh, this is going to be ad-libbed. I have no script and I barely have an agenda. But I think if I just open my mouth and talk about the subjects that I want to talk about, it will be productive. And we'll all learn something. So what do I mean that men have been robbed? Well, men have been robbed of quite possibly the worst thing that they could be robbed from and that is their identity now in our culture right now there's this lie there's this myth there's this idea that's been floating around that um there are no differences between men and women as far as personality goes in fact there's some people so stupid so brainwashed so delusional that they think there are no differences between men and women almost period All, almost right i have no idea how they justify such an opinion but especially when it comes to personality and personality traits um they claim that there is no masculine personality traits there are no female personality traits there were all it's all cu cultural right so this the idea of what it means to be mas masculine to act masculine um this is all from culture and they've even coined the phrase so here's the idea so first off they tell you that there is no such thing as masculine traits it's all cultural so you should forget it you should wipe that from your brain any uh any traits that are common common among males across the entire globe throughout human history even somehow magically it's all cultural so that's the first the first lie that they need to tell you uh they need to wash wash you start you from scratch they need to remove all your traits so once they tell you that uh you're all your personality traits are all cultural uh then they move on to the, the second step which is to demonize actual masculine traits you see they're wrong uh there are common traits found amongst men uh throughout the globe throughout history uh and they're not cultural how could they be cultural if they are throughout the entire globe throughout all of human history right they're not so but then they go on and they coin the phrase and right now obviously uh, we're talking about feminists but i'm not just talking about like the extreme feminists or even mediocre feminists this is starting to bleed over throughout all of culture this is starting to bleed over on tv um this is starting to bleed over just in everyday people's lives like conversations and that is the the phrase uh toxic masculinity now I've, i consider the phrase toxic mas masculinity to be pretty much verbal abuse it's it's fucking unacceptable i mean imagine if there was a men's rights organization that had coined the phrase female toxic fe femininity right imagine if they just kept on pushing toxic femininity toxic femininity you see ladies do you think do you think that your your personality traits are something that's hardwired into nature no fuck no of course not uh this is something that society has invented and not only has it been invented and it's completely optional uh, but it's toxic toxic is such a strong word i mean they're, they're saying and since since personally like masculinity it's not cultural it's physical it's built into my fucking dna uh, and so for you to tell me that my my common traits for me being a man 
is toxic is to tell me that I am toxic. The core of me is toxic. That's fucking disgusting. How dare anyone coin such a fucking phrase? It's sickening. Um, but this is the world we live in. We live in a world where the core identity of who you are as a man is considered disgusting. It's considered toxic. It's considered evil. And it's not like this is a fucking surprise to us. This shit's been going on for two generations. For two generations, men have been shit on and shit on and fucking dumped on. My entire life as a male, I've been sent the fucking message that I am evil. That there's something inherently wrong with me. That men are evil. That men have a massive problem. The men are their sole proprietary, the sole reason for all the evil in the world. And we're, of course, we're also rapists. Uh, so our sexuality is evil as well. And uh, really all it is, is a modified version of Christian uh, original sin, uh, made even worse. So in original sin in Christianity, uh, all people are evil upon birth right it's called original sin because eve ate the apple six thousand years ago or even more depending on what denomination you go to uh because some lady sinned thousands of years ago therefore when you're born you're born broken you're born evil and in christianity it applies to everybody it applies uh to to men and females and this is something that's used to control people. Uh, this is this is this is a form of mental slavery. So the idea is because you're broken at birth, because you're evil at birth, because you're guilty at birth, you need a savior. You need a messiah. You need someone to fix you. And uh, the solution, you might be saying, is Christianity, but that's not entirely true. The solution was uh the saints it was the roman catholic church and it was the power structure that they had by making everyone evil upon existence and needing of a savior uh they now need your product which is salvation through christianity and with the roman catholic priests and then the church especially through the dark ages the priests held a monopoly on standing between man and god uh god offered salvation but you had to go through the power structure that that was the roman catholic church in order to get that so guilt upon existence is a way to enslave people and now we have uh toxic masculinity where if you are a male you are evil simply because you are male you're evil and you're broken and you're disgusting because you have a penis uh and what is the solution the solution is apparently sucking up to the priests of of feminism right i found it interesting uh, i watched a while back the newest mad max movie and i watched it on, at the big screen i watched it in 3d and I, I, I mean i gotta tell you it was one of the best action movies i've ever seen it was fucking sick i mean it was really really good it was some of the best action it was one of the best action movies i've ever seen and it was all super stylized and it was it ridiculous of course it was fucking ridiculous that was the fucking point but there was uh something uh that took place when they made this movie that i think is very telling it's a time it's a sign of the times which is when they went to go make that movie the best i can tell uh whether they, i think it's the producers or somebody in charge says look this movie is masculine by definition right is is it contains all of the traits that are associated with masculinity awesomeness testosterone power fighting muscle cars they wanted to make the manliest movie fucking possible and they did a really fucking good job of it but in order to do that they had to appease their feminist gods their their, their saints they had to go ask permission of the feminists because you can't have a testosterone filled masculine movie without getting the blessings of the feminist priests and so some of the lead feminists came in and they came in and in order to get their blessing, the best I can tell anyways, they had to add certain feminist horseshit 
into the movie in order to let it exist. So uh, in this movie, in Mad Max, um, there is one man who's in charge. He's managed to monopolize all of the necessities of life. He's monopolized, most importantly, the water and then the food and all the other resources that you need. And in this world, pretty much everyone's a slave to him. Everyone is a resource to him. Uh, and so, uh, except for the peasants, like the peasants, I don't know what the fuck they're doing there, how they serve him. They probably serve him in some manner. But there was like, for example, uh, there was people that existed only to harness their organs, right? Uh, there was ladies that existed just to have their breasts pump like they they were producing breast milk and they were pumping it and this went straight to uh the guy that's in charge and all of his people directly under him uh and there was other people that only existed like that you just existed to serve him in some manner you had a resource for him to exploit and control and the some of the main characters of the movie was um females who only existed to, to be breeding stock Right. So there was females, extraordinarily attractive females, and they were all different genetic types. So like there, there was the Asian and then there was the redhead and there was all the different like they wanted, you know, you need variety when it comes to hand selecting who you want to mother your child. You might decide I want this trait or that trait and you want nothing but the, the most extraordinary genes. And these ladies provided that. Um, and of course, obviously, I have a fucking problem with that. And but then again, I had a problem with everything going on. He's the bad guy. Everybody involved, all of the people involved were all his victims. Everyone was being used. Everyone was being exploited. Everyone was a personal resource for this guy to use. Um, but the theme was about liberating these these ladies that gave birth for a living, essentially. And the feminist interjection was they included lines like, we are not things, right? That's what the, the females who would say that were slaves and forced to be impregnated and, and, and give babies. They said, we are not things! Well, not fucking shit. But no, it's anyone, no, neither is anyone else involved, right? Like, everyone was being used as things. And the other thing that it just is fucking disgusting is the line, who destroyed the world? And of course, this, I'm pretty sure this was a line that was, forced in because it was used like two or three times uh it was you just be like randomly shouted out who destroyed the world uh and it was uh the it implied that it was men that it was men it, it, this whole post-apocalyptic world men are at fault they did this fuck awesome yes that's what i need is some fucking man hate some sexist fucking disgusting man hate thrown in this movie. That's what this super balling fucking badass testosterone action filled movie, one of the most action filled movies of all time. That's what it, it just needed a sprinkle. Just need a little fucking sprinkle of sexist man hate. Feels fucking great, guys. It feels fucking great. Ladies, you have, you think you got a, you're fucking some, some fucking victim. You have no idea what it's like to be told your entire fucking life from childhood that because you are male, because you have a fucking penis, you're evil. And you see fucking sexism against men fucking sprinkled fucking everywhere. It's un... It's... Seriously. Until you live through the shoes of a male in a Western society, a, a male that's not beaten into fucking submission, uh, you have no idea what it's like. To, it's like, I'm trying to enjoy it a badass action flick and they had to go appease the feminist god and in order to get the blessing from the femi feminist saints they had to throw in sexist feminist horseshit like this so it occurred to me the other day that i've been lied to when and it goes back to having our identity stolen um one of the lies so there's this notion, right, that neither being male or female is better. And I still generally agree with that. Um, generally, I think the correct view is that both men and women are different by nature, right? Uh, we have traits unique into our own, and some of those traits can be bad. And some of those traits are good. And we definitely get the good traits for females, right? So like all the all the traits that are commonly associated with females, they're praised, right? Supposedly females 
are better at raising and nurturing children. That's actually probably true, at least a little bit, case by case basis. But generally speaking, most of the time, women are probably better at nurturing females, uh, sorry, at children than men. Um, and and there's and there's there's other traits. Uh, women are better at multitasking, right? I can go down the line. There's unique thing, things that are unique to females that are good, and they're things that men tend not to have as often, and they should be praised a little bit. Um, but don't you dare ever fucking speak about the traits that are unique to females or more common in females. They're negative. That's to never be spoken of. That can never be. No, no, no. Don't ever, don't ever speak against your female overlords. All right. But men, on the other hand, men, in our society, we've been robbed because gladly will people tell us endlessly about why men are so evil about toxic masculinity they'll gladly tell you endlessly about how we're responsible for war and we're responsible for our all violence and crimes and rapes and the world is a piece of shit and it's all because of men and men are filthy animals and all they want is to just hump bitches for you know like their like their property and and the men treat women like like I could go fucking on forever about all the traits that are negative about men. That society, there may or may not be true. I think most of those things are either not true or extremely exaggerated. Uh, but you won't ever see things listed that are positive. That's right. As a man, you've had your positive traits stripped from you. You have no positive identity. You have been lied to into be told either that you don't have these traits um, or that they're evil. And I'm here to tell you the opposite today. So I'm going to go through some of these traits. Uh, and I'm going to tell you how they're actually good. So the first one is physical strength. You see it constantly. Like... Ladies, just general ladies, not even just raging feminists, ladies will be like, they'll try to play like the average man isn't stronger uh, than the average woman, right? Or they won't ever admit it, especially won't admit it as a positive. And, uh, <laughs> you know, but, but, but then if you, but then they will simultaneously tell you how it's so fucking wrong for a man to ever hit a woman. Now, you think the message would be that it's wrong, uh, equally wrong for women to hit men and men to hit women. And I think that's uh, somewhat true. But, I mean, they make it quite clear that a man especially is to ne never hit a woman. But why is that? If we're not stronger, like we know that we are, like as we can fucking document to be true, because lifting requirements in the military and other places are not as high for women as it is for men. And we separate male and female boxers in other physical sports. Why is it? Well, it's a fucking lie. On average, men are physically stronger than females. And not, this is a good thing. This is fucking badass. Men, you should be able to enjoy that. You should be able to take that in and be like, yeah, I am stronger. That's pretty fucking cool. Uh, you know, it's, 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 it's not, you know, terribly fucking important, but it's something you need to admit to yourself to take back your identity. You are most likely stronger. Now, granted, are there professional boxers, are there female MMA fighters you know, that can definitely kick my ass in a fucking heartbeat? Fucking of course there are, right? But the average male is still physically stronger than the average female. And that's nothing to be ashamed of. And it's definitely true. Now, a lot of the traits that are that are more common to be found in males, um, they are a result of you know a large number of years of evolution. And if you don't believe in evolution, I'm sorry, uh, but in very, if you need a way to look at it, these traits are still needed. Uh, and those traits is physical strength and aggression. Now, the majority of human history has only continued 
has only survived because masculine traits. Uh, masculine traits were necessary for the survival of the species. Uh, not very long ago, relatively speaking, uh, if you weren't fast enough, you couldn't run from predators that were looking to fucking kill you dead, right? If you weren't fast and strong enough, you couldn't hunt down your food. Uh, you needed that extra strength, you needed that extra aggression, you needed that extra ruthlessness in order to go out there and kill animals in order to survive. If it wasn't for this, the aggression, the extra aggression from men, if it wasn't for the extra testosterone, if it wasn't for our muscle mass, if it wasn't for our drive to go out there and conquer and kick ass and take names, the human race would not be here fucking today. It just wouldn't. Men have a stronger drive to go out there and kick ass and take names. They have a stronger drive to conquer. Uh, and this was not only needed for the majority of human history in order to survive. Uh, this is very beneficial now. You still need a backbone in order to survive even in Western society. You still need a little bit of aggression. You still need a little bit of fucking drive in you. You need to have a fucking cock and balls. You need to go out there and conquer if you don't want to be a little fucking bitch. And what I mean by a little fucking bitch is, even in Western society, you still need to go out there and some and still survive. Uh, you can't just coast through life. You need vision and you need drive and 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 having aggression even in the corporate workplace i'm not talking about violence i'm just talking about fucking a spine and and a will a drive to push on with balls to the walls that's what it takes to actually thrive in life uh the worst thing you can do is convince all the men to be little beta bitches with no backbone and no aggression and no drive and i mean that's kind of where we're at right now and then we wonder we wonder why they all want to just fucking not work. You know? We wonder why they just want to fucking just play video games. Like, I'm just going to sit in my house and fucking play Xbox. <sighs> right? <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I fucking love video games, right? But that's not the point. The point is you need drive in life if you want to fucking make it anywhere. If you just want to make minimum wage, uh, or just barely above minimum wage, then go ahead. Have no backbone, have no balls, have no testosterone, have no aggression, have no drive. But all those things are necessary if you want to live a good life. And women still inherently know this, which is why a lot of women, maybe even the majority, are still on some level attracted to alpha males. They just are. They, they, they know that a guy that has a little bit of aggression, not the kind of aggression that's going to beat her, but the kind of aggression that's going to go out there and, and push to achieve, push to climb the corporate ladder or wherever it's at, push to start your own business. Those are the kind of guys that's going to be most beneficial for her and for her future offspring. Because let's face it, if she plans on having babies, she probably wants to have babies with somebody that's going to be able to provide for them enough resources. Now, she may or may not work as well. But even if she does work, even if she works full time, she still wants a guy that's going to go out there and fucking go get go go get the fucking money. Right. I mean, it doesn't have to be some unnatural, unbalanced amount of, of drive and aggression, but you still it's still needed. So traditionally masculine traits were not only necessary for the majority of human history, for the survival of the species. It's still beneficial now. And it also attracts females. And, uh, I mean, the majority of the drive of human nature still to this day is survival and reproduction. So if guys know uh, that females are attracted to alpha males or at least males with a little bit of a backbone and, and, and drive, they're going to naturally be these things. Because you know how it is. It's just fucking evolution. Get over it. Um... So this is, I mean, this is where we're at. This is, this is, this is, this is where we're at. Um, but honestly, guys, I feel like the majority of guys have had enough. 
we fucking have enough. We where a lot of these guys are checking out. Either they're checking out by by not not having drive. They're not having uh, dreams for the future. They're not trying to achieve anything. They don't have any spine. Uh, or they're simply checking out with women, and they're saying, "I'm fucking, I'm done with it." I've been shit on by women my entire life. I've been told I'm a piece of shit. I've been told there's something iner- inherently wrong with me simply because I'm a male. My entire fucking life. Not just by... Not, I mean, for me, it's, it's it's been my entire church life. Because only beta males. So, like, extraordinarily beta. Beta males survive in church because it's poisonous to masculinity. Um, it's been told to me by media. It's been told to me by television and movies. It's sprinkled in absolutely fucking everywhere. Uh, and it's got to the point where the the guys are saying, "I'm if this is how women are going to treat me, if this is how it's going to be, I want nothing to do with them." Now that's not me, but that is happening a lot. There's quite a few movements like that across the globe. Uh, there's the uh, habivore, habivore, whatever, whatever the word is for not eating meat movement in Japan, and there's the MGTOW movement in the West. And it's simply guys just saying, you know what, bitches? Fuck you. Fuck you. You're sexist pieces of shit. You've been shitting on me my entire life. Go fuck yourself. I'm going to be over here and I'm going to be awesome. So I'm not going to recommend going MGTOW to you guys, which is short for men going their own way. But I'm going to recommend that you grow a little bit of a fucking backbone. And you take pride in it. You, I recommend that you're never ashamed of yourself and never date a woman who spouts any ignorant fucking sexist feminist horseshit so be male be 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 aggressive but not like stupid aggressive right have drive be proud of who you are have a sex drive and don't fucking apologize for that shit uh demand to be treated with respect by everyone around you and if you don't get respect, just be very clear. Hey, I, I don't respect you because you don't respect me. You can go fuck yourself because you're shitting all over me. Um, don't, don't take any shit. Don't take an ounce of fucking shit. Uh, most importantly, never be ashamed of who you are. Never for a moment believe that there's something wrong with you because you are a man, because you are a male. Don't listen to the fucking lies. Don't listen to the propaganda. Believe in yourself. Don't hate yourself. Okay. That's like the number one most important thing with all of this. Do not believe the lie. The sexist lie. The verbal abuse that is society telling you that you are a piece of shit. And there's something wrong with you. You are a man. Being a man is fucking fantastic. Humanity has needed your masculine traits. You still need your masculine traits. You need it to thrive in life. Do not hate yourself. Do not hate yourself. Don't believe the lie that there's something wrong with you because there's nothing wrong with you. Once you can get that into your brain, everything else will fall into place, right? But once you're not ashamed of yourself, once you see through all the lies, then everything else will fall into place. Uh, people will spout sexist hate hate speech at you and say uh, fucking horse shit like toxic masculinity. And I wouldn't even recommend verbally attacking them. Just walk away from them. Keep Cut them out of your life. And if they ask why, be like, because you're a sexist asshole. Because you are verbally harassing men. You are trying to steal the identity of men. Okay? You're a sexist. You're a sexist piece of shit, and just walk away from them, whether it be in your personal life, or whether it be in your relationship life. Don't ever date anyone if they ever spout any of that fucking sexist, feminist horseshit at you. As soon as there's any sign of that, maybe tell them. Maybe have like a short conversation, like, "Hey, that was really sexist of you. You just implied that men were stupid." Or that men were evil. Or that there's something wrong with just being born a man. That's abuse. 
I don't fucking need that. And because I have a little bit of testosterone in the backbone, I'm not going to fucking put up with it. You know, not that you need testosterone to not put up with something, but you get my, you get the idea. Okay. Tell them you're not going to put up with it. And if it doesn't end immediately, dump them immediately. Go find someone that hasn't had their brain fucking poisoned by this endless horse shit. Because they're out there. They're kind of hard to find, but they're out there. Go find them. And if you seriously can't find someone who's not going to verbally abuse you, someone who's not going to shit on you, cause you emotional and psychological harm, then just go alone. But you shouldn't have to go alone. There's a lot of people out there. And there's a lot of good females out there. So just keep your eyes open. But don't settle for second best. Don't settle for an abusive person who's going to tell you that there's something wrong with you because you're a man. Um, all right, guys, that generally covers it. Um, I'm sure there's more things on the subject I could talk about, but I think I've fairly exhausted the things that I wanted to talk about. If you uh, want to leave a comment down below, go ahead and do so. Okay. But, you know, you're not, you don't have to. If you want to like this video, go ahead and do so. Um, if you feel like uh, this video was important, then share it with people. But, like, only share it with your friends or something, because here's the deal. The other day I said something online that didn't mesh well with feminists, right? And somehow so a male feminist, like a guy who hates himself and he's fucking proud of it. Uh, you know, what else would you call a male feminist? Uh, he, he read a message that I wrote that didn't fit with the feminist uh, worldview. And what did he do? Oh, through my Facebook account. He found out the girl that I was dating, the name of the girl that I was dating. And he went and tried to narc on me. Uh, and he sent her a message, a copy and paste my message that I wrote in the board. And says, this is what your piece of shit boyfriend uh, you know, thinks about feminism. And she's like, oh, that's amazing. Because that's actually what I think about feminism. Because feminism is fucking a sexist cult. Right? <laughs> like, I agree with everything you said. Also... You're a beta male bitch and go fuck yourself. That's generally the gist of the message that she wanted to say. But you're miss I'm missing the I'm kind of you I'm missing the point. Which is um there is a breed of and the reason why I use cults, I don't think that all feminists are cultists, but I think there's a, a breed of feminist, third wave feminism that is reaching near cult status because when he read something that he didn't like, instead of telling me I was a piece of shit, instead of countering my arguments, instead of using words back to me. He tried to get me to lose my girlfriend. And that same mentality, uh, I've seen time after time, feminists have successfully gotten men fired from their jobs. They said, I don't like what this guy is saying. I'm going to fucking take his job away. This guy is saying something counter to, to the narrative of feminism. It doesn't agree with our little fucking cult, essentially, at this point. Um, so we're going to get this motherfucker fired. And, and they do. So, I mean, yeah. Spread this video, but like spread it with your friends because there's some extremely immoral piece of shit feminist out there that will probably try to get me fired if they're at all fucking able to because they don't believe in free speech. And I'm like the Catholic priests that were scared of the fucking print, printing press right during the end, near the end of the Dark Ages because it threatened their power structure, the Internet and men speaking out against the sexist hate speech that in, in the verbal abuse that they're putting in the men feminists are realizing that their power structure is being threatened and they're fighting back in the most immoral ways possible so yeah but share this video anyways but it's fuck it you we, we gotta we gotta have a backbone we gotta stand up for ourselves we can't back down so uh have a wonderful day uh i hope you're doing great all right this is t signing out